extend this out just a little further. Come on. Ah. There we go. Tip it down and get right in the corner. There we go. There, now we can see all of us. Yay! <laughs> He's so special. Let's start a YouTube channel with three people who don't want to be on camera. Perfect. Perfect. What could go wrong? <laughs> Dog goes into the pool. On to our floaty. Okay. Beautiful day. Talk to me. Well, do you have an idea of what you wanted to discuss? No, I have no idea. This is just our intro to what it is we're doing. I'm drugs. I wanted to talk. <laughs> I actually wanted to talk about the. It's daunting the amount of of tasks that are coming our way to complete. Yeah, like video content so today is the first nice day we've had in a well long time so uh, we got the pool cranked up and we're outside in the Sun and we got most of our work done for the day for a change mostly uh, Jolie's grabbing a quick dip with the dog before she heads off to work and uh, we thought we'd sit here and talk to you and tell you what we're doing uh, I've wanted to live on a sailboat since I was a kid when I was in sea cadets and racing sailboats um, and I've wanted to sit on a, live on a sailboat and write. And I never ever had that opportunity. We finally have the opportunity, we're approaching it, but here's the reason behind the name for uh, Sailing Vessel Dark Angel. There's actually two. Reason one, our favorite painting is Fallen Angel by Chris Ron. Reason two, we're covering a white boat with dark solar panels. But the main thing is we wanna take a lot of the modern technology that's out there, a lot of the electrical technology and solar technology and, and lithium ion battery technology and make a boat that gets rid of as much of the diesel as possible uh, and as much of the dependence on shore power as possible. So we're looking at um, all the newest technology for uh, creating a, an entire solar um, coach roof on whichever boat we choose. So the boat that we're, the boats we're looking at tend to have larger coach roof surfaces, not so much fly bridges because that just takes up a ton of room. Um, and we're looking at switching out the diesels, whether they be Yanmars or, or uh, Cats or whatever. They're gonna have to and speak switching, over the airplane that's going over top right now. And switching them out to uh, probably Ocean Volt. I like the Ocean Volt. Um, we live near an airport. <laughs> And switching out for the, the Ocean Bolt sail drives so that the, the uh, sail drives can also act as generators. So there's a fair amount of cost up front in taking all the diesel equipment out and putting in the, uh, the electrical equipment. Uh, there's the motors, there's battery packs um, because we're going to need extensive battery packs. There's taking out the traditional uh, AC generator and putting in DC generators, probably two of them because when you have no other power supply you want to back up. Uh, plenty of solar on the on the coach roof and we've learned some tricks about the solar that I can't wait to apply. We've been talking to just catamarans about having them do the work and they're looking forward to it. So there's there's a lot of moving parts to this. We're probably a year and a half to two years out from uh, getting in the water permanently, but there's so much to do before we get there. So this Thursday we have surgery coming up for LASIK. And I'm a little nervous. I'm honestly a little nervous about that because, you know, it's your eyesight after all. Um, and that's just one of the many steps that we're, that we're taking in order to prepare to live on a boat. Yeah, contacts are hugely inconvenient when you're uh, doing anything with water. They wash out of your eyes and all that kind of good stuff. So we're changing that over. I've been blind since I was about eight, so this will be a neat change for me. Uh, some of the other things that we're doing is uh, we got back from Annapolis not long ago and uh, we've got some great stuff coming up from that trip for you and uh, I don't know why I'm talking this badly. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. Uh, all right. So we got, to, we, <laughs> we got back from Annapolis a few weeks ago and we got some great footage from that and some uh, great insight. We can't wait to share it with you. 
uh, as soon as I can scramble all the video together. And uh, in the meantime, we're getting the eyeballs done and we're uh, getting ready to take off again at the end of July and go see Gary down in Fort Lauderdale. And he's gonna put us on some boats and uh, show us the ropes, <laughs> quite literally. And we were watching Gary as well and he was talking about uh, the different courses that are available. Um, that's another set of tasks that we have to complete and we think that we're probably going to go for the week-long task um, instead of uh, chopping it up just for financial purposes because it can be it can get pretty pricey having to having to go down there get down to Florida uh, every so often to, to write a test when we can take initial courses here uh, at Fanshawe um, yeah, Lisa, Lisa's 101. never sailed, so we're going to get the basic sailing courses from her, and that'll be a good refresher for me, because I haven't sailed in decades. And then we decades. need blue water. We need and, blue water. And then we'll go down to Florida for the blue water training at uh, Gary's school. Mm -hmm. And that's Gary Fretz, for those of you who are following him. Very informative, great guy. Uh, learned of him through following Jess and Jessica and Ryan Adventures, and if you guys see this, hi and thank you. Uh, there's quite a few vlogs, sailing vlogs that we follow. Uh, we just recently got into La Vagabond and we started out following the winds uh, just like everybody else uh, and uh, <laughs> and now I have to go answer the phone excuse and me and there's the phone yeah we started out following the winds and we're fascinated with their story of going from not knowing how to sail at all to now that been in uh, French Polynesia for quite some time making us very jealous so jealous uh, and uh, just expanded from there following uh, Sailing Doodles and uh, like I said recently La Vagabond and Zingaro which I find fascinating because it's an older boat and they're doing it on a smaller budget and it still looks like they're having a hell of a time and uh, jealous of them too. Hell of a um, good time. Yeah we're, uh, we're patrons of a, of a few of them and uh, enjoying being patrons and we're hoping we can round up a few patrons of our own to help us with this project. And another point is is that we are giving up this lifestyle on the land with a really nice house and a pool and we want to go to that next step that next level um, on our on our next adventure so we want to take you along on that adventure yeah behind us is a conservation area we get deer and uh, the occasional coyote uh, with the size of a wolf and uh, all kinds of wildlife and you can hear there's birds and so forth uh, one of those birds had a giant engine and uh <laughs> we have a nice area it's it's a nice it's area a nice but area. it's not as nice as where we want to go and it's only nice four months of the year we're in canada where you get 10 months of winter and two months of poor sledding i hate so. winter i hate snow i hate snow and i want i want my backyard to be the ocean so we're hoping you'll come along with us and uh we're hoping some of you will decide to be patrons um if you like what we're doing and and you want to see us continue doing it don't forget to hit the like button and uh join subscribe. us on patreon subscribe <laughs> hit the little indicator bell apparently that means something we're new to the youtube stuff <laughs> <laughs> and uh hopefully we'll see you out there Hi. is that it that's it all right we gotta feed the kid mm -hmm.